Welcome into the Purple and Gold Point After here on WWLAMFM.com and the Odyssey app. I'm Christian Garrick. LSU lost to Ole Miss 31-17 to earlier today in Oxford. Over the next few minutes, I'm not going to give you one stat relative to the outcome of today's game. I'm just going to tell you exactly how I feel about the present and the future of this program. So here goes, and I have a lot to say. This is what LSU fans have to deal with every week for the remainder, remainder of the season. This is the immediate future for LSU fans and that program. What you just listened to or watched today was what you and we are going to get the rest of the year. The Tigers clearly won last week in spite of Coach O. Today, his players clearly quit on him. LSU doesn't even look like they belong in the SEC right now. The players look disinterested. They had to give Coach O his buyout last Sunday. The administration wanted him to finish the year. After all, he is a great interim head coach. He's proven that. He has a ton of experience. It made sense to a degree. However, this charade is, quite frankly, insulting to LSU fans and embarrassing to the school. Coach O is going to hit us this week with some typical coach speak. Regroup. i got to coach better. I won't blink, etc., etc. Coach O is the reason this team is distracted and disinterested. Here's a great illustration as to why this team is distracted. Players had to dispel rumors via Twitter about their coaches' reported behavior with girlfriends at practice this week ahead of the game. The players shot these reports down. The players did the dirty work for the administration and Coach O. That's a massive distraction. Think about that for a minute. LSU has a football crisis and a public relations crisis. The administration did not have the gumption to address it. Instead, players addressed reports about their head coach. Pass the buck leadership is failed leadership. The administration at LSU is void of leadership when 20 and 22-year-old young men are addressing a situation that the administration ignored. The head coach is the distraction. Instead of preparing for Ole Miss, the players are left to defend the guy in charge on Twitter and social media. Scott Woodward and Coach O missed and missed badly last Sunday, not owning those reports and addressing them. The athletic director and coach should have gotten out in front and said the reports were either true or not true. Last year, many members of the media were rooting for and calling for LSU and college football to cancel the season because of COVID. We all remember that. This year, I wouldn't mind if the Tigers cancel the remaining games on the schedule due to their play. Their play and coaching is offensive to college football, and cancel culture should come calling. How is this any fun? Is this any fun at all to watch this? I know LSU is down a ton of starters. I'll give you that. I'll acknowledge that. However, that is the least of their problems on this team. Ole Miss had not beaten LSU in five years. Five years. And they beat them badly. 31 unanswered points. 31 unanswered points. Tennessee and Tulane gave the Rebels a better game this season. This is not on all on Coach O. Nah, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. I mean, he recruited the talent. He hired the coaches. He is the common denominator. The more games the Tigers play this season, the more damage it will do to the program. The national title championship win 21 months ago feels like a lifetime ago. Alabama, Arkansas, Texas A&M remain on the schedule. And LSU is out of playoff contention by a mile, and we're not even to Halloween yet. There's no reason for hope this year. Maybe, if this happens, then maybe LSU could get a bowl, good bowl game or shot at the postseason. They have no hope, no lifeline to save them. Coach O, it's time to blink. Selfishly, your legacy tarnished is being tarnished with every game you're on the sideline at LSU. And as humans, we tend to remember the bad over the good, the awful over the greatness. Right now, I feel the championship he did win was almost luck. I know it wasn't. It just feels that way. Coach O needs to negotiate another deal. He needs to resign, if nothing, for the love of the program. If he loves LSU, as he says, he needs to step down. He will not, though, if it means he does not get his buyout money. LSU fans, I would invite you to make other plans on Saturdays during LSU games. It's offensive and sad. And I'm not a big boycott person, but starting to warm up to the idea of boycotting LSU football. Not for social justice issues or anything other than that. 
It's just a bad product. It's just a bad product. It's gross to watch. My concern is every game Coach O remains on the sidelines, it sets the program back further and further. If I'm another SEC coach, man, the strategy is clear. I can I can steal recruits. I'm on the phone with LSU recruits every day, and I would be reminding them of what a dumpster fire the Tiger program has become. And I'd ask them, do you really want to be a part of a rebuild or come to an established winning program? What a shame. What a shame. Local boy and Coach O did good, right? Right there from cutoff, Lafouche Parish, his dream job. Now he's doing significant damage to the local favorite football program. By keeping Coach O as the coach, even though they announced a mutual split, the administration essentially asked the players and coaches to go down with the ship and ignore the lifeboats. The captain, Coach O, not the passengers, players and assistants, are required is required to go down with the sinking ship. The players and assistants are watching the Titanic go down from the lifeboats. They have checked out on their coach. They have checked out on this program. And I blame the administration and Coach O for putting him in that situation to where you got to play for a guy that you didn't want to play for. He got sideways with you on a number of issues, did some things you didn't like. You lost faith in him. 